One of the iconic photographs of the 20th century is a work that was made by Dorothea Lange, uh, which is now called Migrant Mother. This photograph is known all over the world and it really now represents um, human uh, endurance and dignity in the face of suffering. But that photograph almost never was taken. Dorothea Lange had been traveling for weeks in Central California on assignment for the RA and she was finally headed back to her home and family in Berkeley. Um, she drove past a sign for a pea pickers camp in Nipomo, California, and she kept driving, but then she says that something just drew her to come back to that, uh, that pea pickers camp, even after driving 20 miles, would have been a long time on these two, uh, two lane roads. When Lang got to the camp, she learned that um, a late frost had ruined the crop, uh, the pea crop, and that now there were almost 3,000 migrant laborers without work. They had no money, of course, and they were literally starving. Um, so it was a very dire situation. She got her camera and focused in on she found a, a family a, a woman and, and her children there and she made seven shots progressively getting closer and closer until she got just the right one of the the woman with three of her children surrounding her the shoot only took 10 minutes and um, she just packed her camera, got back on the road, and went home. And that method of working is very different than what um, Dorothea Lang, how she normally um, took photographs. Usually she took a lot of time to, to talk to her subjects, to get to know them a little bit, to learn their names, to learn more about their stories. Um, and it's kind of ironic that the image that she is most well known for was made in such an atypical way. She didn't get the name of the of the woman. She got the facts wrong. She thought that they had sold the tent in order to get food or in other stories she recounted that they had just sold the uh, tires of their car for food and in in fact, that wasn't the case at all. The image immediately resonated with people. It was printed just a few days later in a paper in San Francisco and then in many, many other publications since that time. And eventually, uh, a reporter found the woman and her name was Florence Thompson. And Florence was actually a Native American woman from Oklahoma who, like so many, had fled the, the dust bowl area where her family farm was no longer able to produce crops. And she and her husband and their, their children had come to California, like so many others, in hopes of finding um, better better land and more opportunities for work. But of course things weren't perfect in California either, especially in these migrant labor camps. Florence Thompson was actually resentful of the image. She f assumed that Dorothea Lange must have made tons of money off of the photograph while she still had a life of essentially poverty for the for the rest of her life. Dorothy Ling made no money off of the, the photograph because it was made um, for the government. It was always considered um, you know fair usage and it could be reproduced or printed free of charge. It still can be through the Library of Congress. So um, eventually Florence Thompson and her children came to understand that this image meant so much more than just a story of their own um, circumstance, their own poverty, which was something that Florence Thompson felt ashamed of, and they realized that it really did come to stand as this very um, ennobling portrait of, of a woman, of humanity and strength and determination in, in, in any type of adversity.